Okay, so we're going to carry on with this example. So again, we're bounded by y equals 0, x equals 2, and y equals x squared. Y um, equals, so this is 2. Let's just draw that in real quick. So this is 2. All right, we know that this would be at 4. And so up here somewhere, let's say we have 8. So this line is going through at 8. And that's the line we're going to rotate around. Okay. What we have here is a vertical rectangle. And I know vertical because remember the rectangle has to be perpendicular to that line of rotation. So from the bottom to the top, that is going to be capital R. And from the shorter length, so the top of my rectangle to that line will be little r. Volume equals, we're going to go pi on the outside. We're going to go from 0 to 4. Oh, not 0 to 4, 0 to 2. I need my x number, 0 to 2. Um, so I need the distance from 0 to 8. Well, that's 8. So that's r squared minus little r squared. Now, what's the difference? What's the distance from here to here? It is x squared minus 8. So again, this was 0 minus 8 to get 8. Now, I didn't put, I did or you could do 8 minus 0. It doesn't matter. You're going to be squaring these, so it's going to come out positive if I said 0 minus 8 or 8 minus 0. That distance is 8, so 8. Then I went the curve minus 8. Now, I could do 8 minus x squared. Again, that doesn't matter. You're squaring, and after you square them, you're going to have the same signs on your terms. If as if I turned it around. So 8 minus x squared squared is going to come out to be the same as x squared minus 8 squared. So don't worry about the order of subtraction within little r or big R. Okay, and then you're going to have to, if you did it by hand, you'd have to FOIL and so forth. If you work this out with your calculator, That's where we're at. Okay, y equals 4 is going to be this line right here. So again, rectangle goes here. This distance represents r. This distance represents little r. I'm still going from 0 to 2. Big R is the distance from 0 to 4. It's 4. Little r is the distance from the curve to 4. Again, it doesn't matter if I do x squared minus 4 or 4 minus x squared. All right, this last one, y equals negative 2. I'm going to put that right here. Rectangle goes in. This distance here is longer than this distance here. So this becomes big R, and that would be little r. I'll write this one off to the side. Big R, top of the rectangle to the line. Top of the rectangle is the curve. Bottom, I have to subtract negative 2. So Notice I did x squared minus 4. You're always subtracting when you find the distance, so x squared minus a negative 2. And then little r will be 0 minus a negative 2. And I can go ahead and give you answers for these last two. So if you put them in your calculator, hmm, 
Okay, that was an answer with pi in it. So. Okay. So just remember when you have washers, it's always the longer length squared minus the shorter length squared. Within those lengths, the order of subtraction doesn't matter. I know this is confusing. It takes a lot of practice to get these down. So we're gonna spend several days here with washers before we move on. Um, I'm just gonna stop here with your notes, give you a few to play with, and then we'll do some more notes on this um, tomorrow or Thursday. Have a good day.